should be you welcoming me back to this channel because I've been absent for a while now. Today I had originally planned to do something creative uh, but these plans have been cancelled last minute so I've decided to vlog and spend this day with you guys and also do some things that I've been wanting to do for a long time. So one of these things is to buy myself a new bronzer. I absolutely love this palette but the bronzer has been shattered and I can't use it so I thought maybe I could go to Sephora and check if they um, have different bronzers and this time I don't want to buy it in a palette I want to buy it like separately maybe um bronzer stick instead of um powder one and I've already had breakfast um today at Canel Bule and I've been drinking my mom's coffee because when my mom was visiting me here she bought herself coffee and you guys know that I'm not a huge fan of coffee I don't even like it this, the smell is pleasant, but the flavor, it's just, I don't know, I'm a matcha person. So recently I've been like, I need some energy. Since I've been living in Stockholm, I've noticed that uh, since like Stockholm is not as sunny as Madrid, I get more sad and like less motivated because of the lack of the sun. So I need more energy. And by the way, like I, you guys know that I love Red Bull, but I also don't want to be drinking it every day or every two days. <laughs> so uh, I want it to be more normal and I don't want to get addicted to it. But I've seen so many people like my age or maybe even younger and you see them drinking Red Bull, like just a normal soda. So I'm like, I don't know, maybe it's like to compensate the lack of sun, you have to drink more caffeine. Also, by the way, I'm loving my hair because yesterday I went outside with my tripod and um, I took some pictures and I did my hair, obviously. I still have this hair and it's from yesterday. I, you know, so they look pretty cute and pretty like Kate Middleton-ish. <laughs> I like this style because it it's just so elegant. Oh, and by the way, um now the weather in stockholm is so great i'll show you it's so sunny it's um maybe nine or ten degrees celsius i don't know every year it happens to me spring is my favorite season and i'm always like yeah so inspired uh, but you know on the other hand like when you think about the things that are happening in the world it's so sad and, and terrible and and even though this channel is supposed to be um, entertaining and like more about fashion and lifestyle and everything I still wanted to address it because I feel like it would be wrong like just not to say anything and um, I've been talking to my friends and my mom and um, one thought that I have is like wouldn't it be nice to be in the 22nd century and then look like and to have this ability to look back and see what's gonna happen in the 21st century because it, it would give you some kind of ease but then since that is impossible, you still feel like, I can't believe this is happening in, in real life. But I still wanted to bring some kind of normalcy and to film videos and to try to inspire you and motivate you, even if the situation in the world isn't very pleasant, to say the least. So yeah, now I'm gonna um, take my tea <laughs> instead of coffee uh, and uh, let's go to the city center for a new bronzer because this is just embarrassing <laughs> so i have my tea with me and i'm gonna go to sephora now i love to say it in the french way sephora because sephora doesn't seem as fancy but look how sunny it is it's oh. the day is so lovely and it's so pleasant to be walking outside and wearing this um coat instead of the regular coat that I've been wearing. You know what I've been thinking? Now there is a bakery that's very very good and they have so many delicious things and I went there last week so I don't know if I want to go there again but maybe after going to Sephora maybe I want to visit them because they, their things are so amazing. So, 
mom I didn't buy anything because I didn't like anything in particular that I would be like oh my god this is so amazing like it was just regular stuff and then I also like to buy things in travel size uh, because I well I wear makeup almost every single day but I don't think that I'm like a such a huge makeup guru that I need many things and for example the highlighter Becca highlighter I bought it in travel size and it's still almost full even though I use it um, on like when I go out uh, the one that I liked was a palette so I didn't want to buy a palette again because I already have the blush and the highlighter and an extra highlighter <laughs> so I have two highlighters one blush and uh, no bronzer and the ones that were in stick I don't know why I didn't like them I think they were too sticky for me or too um, shimmery shiny I don't know yeah I'll have to look it up online or maybe because I like to do the research before buying something especially like when it comes to makeup it's something that you're gonna be wearing on your face so it, sh it better be good oh god look at this light so this light is very uh, beautiful you could pose here and also like the walls are very instagrammable they have texture there's some green if it weren't as crowded i would definitely pose here one day yeah because it's, it's quite pretty and the light is not very bright so it's also yeah this would be a good place to take pictures <laughs> you guys i've just checked and the bakery is unfortunately closed um i forgot that it's closed on mondays and i think if i'm not mistaken on tuesdays it's um, Semla day, so it's like this uh, Swedish dessert and Tuesday is the day that they make it so I think if you want to try more delicious things from them you should go um, maybe on Wednesday H&M home is so Instagrammable and so gorgeous and look at these gorgeous flowers oh my god especially these are so fresh and so oh my god I'm, I'm in love and these are so beautiful like these are the regular ones and these with the like i don't know what to call them the fringes oh my god i'm in love spring is here <laughs> you guys there's also a um, shop that sells expensive furniture and <laughs> when it was winter time i went there i think it was like two or three times and the furniture is so beautiful and it's like the typical instagram um high-end furniture that you see everywhere so i don't know if i want to go there just to get inspired and to look at all of those expensive pieces and just be like imagine myself like oh my god in 10 years i'm gonna have this armchair i absolutely love imagining my future house and my or my future apartment and like um i don't know pretending oh my god g-wagon g-wagon pretending that i'm um yeah, that all of my dreams came true. I have a G wagon. I have a gorgeous apartment. A lot of um, like luxury goods that I aspire to have. When it comes to taking pictures, I also like these um, gorgeous Stockholm um, doors. But <laughs> I've had many situations where I put my tripod. I'm taking pictures, but then someone exits. And it's like weird because it's their house and I'm like taking But at the end of the day, like it's just, I don't care because it's the first and the last time that they will see me ever. Maybe not, but most probably. And the thing that makes me more confident is the fact that no one's thinking about me or about anybody else. Because it's like, um, if you see someone on the street looking unlike everybody else, you think about them for that moment and then you forget about them you're not thinking about them for mm, a week so, or months and even if you were it's like it's not affecting them but i have to admit that sometimes it's um uncomfortable especially if it's like as i already mentioned if it's the main street and there are many people walking by like there's a certain distance that you have to have from the tripod to you if the tripod is on the street but then you are next to the um, door and there are people walking by it's not comfortable because they will be on your pictures and you're basically like locking the street so that's why I prefer um, isolated places the other day I was returning from the oh, look at this bed oh my god oh wow 
it is so beautiful do you guys have it in black because <laughs> i don't i don't know i would prefer to have it in black but this color is also beautiful the other day i was returning from the university and i walked by this shop and i saw gorgeous um it was a bright yellow chanel bag and it was outstanding and also like i don't know i'm not um like on the one hand i uh, really like to experiment with my style especially when it comes to accessories because i feel like they're very easy to change and uh, you can have a basic outfit but then you can change the vibe completely by wearing um bright earrings or a necklace or something more you know futuristic sunglasses or something but on the other hand i don't know why like when it comes to bags i love black bag i feel like a black bag with golden hardware is like a statement piece but on the other hand i also admire for example elsa hosk a swedish model who has by the way her daughter is so cute oh my god i love tuli she's so beautiful i follow her and i'm like oh my god the cutest baby that i've ever seen elsa hosk has many um colorful bags and i like the way she styles them but then like i feel like if you have a yellow chanel bag like what do i style it with a yellow shirt yellow dress or i don't know oh look at this bakery this one also seems like it's pretty oh and the smell is really pleasant should i get something yeah i think i should or maybe not okay i'll get something <laughs> look at this plant are you happy to be in Stockholm? Yeah. <laughs> I've shared a little bit of my bun with this crow or raven. I think it's a crow, I don't know. But he's so cute. I love them, they're so smart. I should. <laughs> Not him eating the, <laughs> the roof of the car when I said he was smart. So now that the crow and I are finished eating the walnut bun, we can go to the, to the shop of. Um, high-end um, furniture so we're almost here it's this Nordiska Galeria 1912 and there's a I don't, I don't want to mispronounce it Nordiska Galeria um, it's um, like right in the city center in Konstgården <laughs> but here uh, this one I think maybe it's a part of it but I'm just in love with it Oh, so many beautiful things let's go and let's go and fangirl over expensive furniture and lamps and everything else and painting oh my god i'm in love i'm in love i'm in love this lamp is so beautiful the folded it doesn't give you much light but it's just outstanding and the sofa how much is it quanto you guys i can't how much is it? Three four nine four six zero zero zero. Okay, so it's oh thirty five thousand euros. Okay, I translated it correctly. Oh my god, I'm in love. The minimalism, the style, the Scandi style. God. When my mom was here, we went here, and I've tried sitting in it, and it's not very comfy, but it's quite stylish. Oh my god, look at this mirror. pretend that I'm a celebrity and I'm welcoming Vogue in my house so the questions 72 questions they're not scripted at all and I'm like casually like who's your role model I don't know my mom <laughs> you guys imagine having this minimalist kitchen the marble it's literally my dream to have a marble counter they look so oh my god so minimalistic and just effortless but high-end and gorgeous oh my god you guys that place inspires me so much and oh god 
it's like it motivates you um, to keep um, fulfilling your dreams and keep going because sometimes you feel unmotivated and it's like oh my god nothing's working like uh, you know that feeling but then you go to one of those places and it's like you could have an aesthetically pleasing house or apartment or something and it's worth working for <laughs> back home and I'm gonna cook some food now and then I want to make a salad with cheese eggs um, salad leaves like spinach and stuff um, beans frijoles oh yeah y que mas? Um, tomatoes soy sauce oh, you guys I've been obsessed with this okay I'm gonna show you so when it comes to salad dressing I love to add olive oil because obviously it's uh, one of the best um, dressings in my opinion I think like olive oil makes salads taste better recently I've um, started adding this soy sauce and it's like mushroom soy so it's more it's the consistency is more thick than regular um, as you guys can see <laughs> that's not a good way to show it um, but it's thicker than regular soy sauce there are several Red Bull flavors, and this is the one that I've mentioned, the green one. I don't just like this one, it's quite, um, it's not as sweet as the other ones, but this one also tastes like regular soda. It doesn't have that um, Red Bull flavor, but then the acai one is so good. I don't know why they discontinued it. By the way, on my way back here, I've seen a video of a girl who drinks four or five uh, monster energy drinks every single day. And in the intro of the video, she was pointing at something with her finger and it was shaking like, like that. But I don't know when it starts becoming an addiction because on the one hand, like caffeine is also a drug. Even like when you look it up, it says caffeine is a drug, but it's been normalized in our society. Isn't that weird? <laughs> Existential thoughts, um, but yeah. Many people drink coffee or matcha or something that has caffeine and it makes you feel more energized. But yeah, since I don't like coffee, I drink Red Bull, but then I don't know when it starts becoming bad for you because I don't want to cross the line. Like I know that one doesn't do anything, but I also don't want to be so like dependent on it. Sometimes you drink it to be more productive but then it makes you anxious and you start shaking and instead of like, I don't know, sitting with your computer and doing your stuff or writing an essay, you become like anxious and nervous, especially like with everything that's going on you. Yeah, it just makes you feel weird. So I've just finished eating my salad and now I'm gonna go and start writing the essay that I need to submit before Friday and yeah, I hope you guys liked this vlog. Um, it was very pleasant talking to you and walking around the city. If you're not subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing and also consider following me on Instagram and on TikTok. I'm very active there. So yeah, I hope you guys like this vlog and I love you. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.